All right, so I figured I can show you briefly how you can install and upload APKs. Uh, APKs also known as kind of Android packages or Android programs. Um, if you go to settings here um, and transfer, you'll see this screen that actually kind of shows you a lot of information. This is my internal IP, um, and so uh, only accessible within my network. Um, but you can notice that it actually tells you on your browser, you can go here. And what it allows you to do is literally upload files, APKs, and other things here. Um, and I have my iPad next to me, so I can actually show you what the screen looks like. And so literally I navigated to that particular URL with the with the address, and this is the average the screen. It's a little web server run on the DMP that allows you to upload files. And so like I can actually create folders, I can upload music from my computer or whatever that may be. But the other thing it does is it has a button here that says upload APK. And so when you click that, you have a web install APK screen. So on any computer, what it allows you to do is actually upload APK files, install them. So that means you can install certain Android apps. Um, I would say to do this entirely at your own risk. I will not be responsible, but it allows you to kind of find an APK file, install it on your machine and do a variety of things with that. And so I'll show you, for example, if I click select APK, I get them on my iPad. Um, download, I have a variety of APKs here, which I uploaded. And so, and well, what does that allow me to do? I'll show you a very good example of that. So um, right here, there's the apps file. So when you upload it through that particular screen, um, it installs it, it unpacks it, installs it, and then throws it in the apps folder. And you notice here, I am actually have Chrome, I have something called RVX, which is uh, a YouTube uh, uh, viewer, um, and that's really it. So, well, so what? Well, so what is I can literally run a Chrome browser with this very nice screen and see a variety of content. And so I'll show you an example. I can go, for example, to you know this particular Every Solo page, uh, mcbluna.net, that talks a little bit about Every Solo. It has beta versions that you can download, um, latest releases and things like that, which is how I updated to the most stable 1.2.50, which gave me a lot more functionality. Um, and so you can do a web browser and you're like, well, so what? Well, I'll tell you, you can go to YouTube. And so that is a pretty big thing where you, for example, in my case, I can actually go to the YouTube. If you actually, oh, no, that's, if you go to the YouTube music area, you have a lot of YouTube music videos that you can enjoy. And so, you know, you can kind of look at that, click on the hit list, pick a video. I don't know, let's just pick a Post Malone. And this is where you get really to get to enjoy the full screen. So I click on that guy. Sometimes I'll see an ad. Music. Oh God, terrible. To connect to 